Hello everyone. In previous video, you have learned installation of Android Studio. Now, in this lecture, you will learn how to create a new project from scratch in latest version of Android Studio. So, open up your Android Studio. As you can see, there is a welcome screen. Uh, here is a button which shows a new project. If you are using first time Android Studio, then your Android Studio welcome screen should look like this. So let's click on it, new project. Uh, it is asking to select a default activity or no activity to create a project. If you want a navigation driver in your project, then you should select this activity. And if you want a bottom app navigation, then you should select this. And there is any other activities, you can select anything. It is totally up to you. Uh, now I will select a bottom navigation view activity. Select it and then press next. Then it will ask you to enter the name of your application. So let's name it. You can name it anything. It is totally up to you. Uh, let's say it. We name it uh, game store. You can give any name to it, right? And after that, it will asking you to enter the package name. Package name uh, should start like this in this manner: com dot example or dot game store. So let's move it. It is totally up to you. You can select or enter any package name. It is totally up to you. Uh, for example, let's we will enter com dot Krishna apps dot game store. Right. Or let's we name it game hubs. Sorry, okay, no problem. Game store is perfect. And then select the location of your project. If you want to store in the default Android Studio directory, then it will store automatically. You will not have to worry about it. If you want to select any other location in your PC or Windows or laptop, then browse the location and enter this. After that, you should select the language of the project. By default, it is asking for Kotlin, but we will use Java. You can select anything if you know. And after that, it is asking for minimum SDK version. Uh, it should by default show API version 24. So you should select API 24. Do not go below because if you go below uh, like 21, 22 or 3 or some below, then uh, you have some restrictions to uh, resources of your app dependency which uh, uh, cause error into small devices. So to minimize the error or risk of the security, then you should use minimum SDK version API 24 or higher. The latest, latest version is 34. As you can see, it is there API 34. API 24 is perfect and uh, then you have to select build configuration language means uh, uh, your project level uh, and app level have to build files for that um, you should select groovy right if you select kotlin and uh, in the upper language you have selected java then it will cause error then to remove the error you have to add kotlin dependency if you do not want to add kotlin dependency then you should select groovy right now click on finish as you can see our android studio is built up it is will asking to adb run to allow it Now, as you can see in the bottom here, indexing JDK 7. 
it will automatically create some useful dependency for you and it is the first time so it will installing a gradle file as you can see here in the click on the build as you can see what is going here what is installation and other task is going as you can see they are installing gradle 8.0 so it will take some time uh, make sure that you have a perfect internet connection i'll say your download may interrupted and cause error Uh, by default if your internet is interrupted and then it will cause error then if your pc or device not able to download these files then you have to download android studio from scratch i'll say if you do not want to from scratch then clear out all your of cache from c directory and from your c username plus app data in with uh, within android folder right it will take some time to download all the resources um, it is a giraffe version which is the latest version of android studio as you can see our new project has been built successfully now close other tabs this is our activity main layout as you know this is the code view this is the main xml file of the activity main as already you know we will not uh, talk about uh, this so first of all we have need to check uh, this project by running into our uh, real device or emulator whether it is working or not so if you are using android version of 11 or above version and or 12 13 14 then you have to simply what you need to you go to device manager then select physical device and uh, click on pay using wi-fi but uh, how it will work how you will connect your android studio to run apps in your real device or mobile via wi-fi First of all, make sure that uh, Wi-Fi is enabled in your both device, mobile or laptop or Windows, in which uh, Android Studio is running. And uh, another thing is that uh, Wi-Fi should be same in both devices, otherwise it will not work. After turning on your uh, Wi-Fi into your uh, mobile, then uh, click on Pair using Wi-Fi. Then it is all so you showing that to pair and android 11 plus devices scan this qr code then uh, from your android device scan this code now after scan it will show you completed just wait
Let me pause the video. The second important thing is that you should enable wireless debugging. As you can see here, developer option, then wireless debugging and here using QR code. So let me show you how you can do that. Let me show you. Go to the app set, mobile setting. Scroll down and uh, go to about setting. Then go to software information here. And after that, uh, click on build number several times then it will ask a pattern then give the pattern now developer mode has been enabled now go back now below about phone setting you can see developer option is available there let me show you it as you can see here it is available there click on it developer options now scroll down and uh, as you can see there is a two options in the debugging field the wait here first one is usb debugging you not need to enable it if you your device is below android 11 then you should enable this usb debugging and after that connect the usb cable from your phone to your uh, laptop or uh, windows after that you can run directly app from android studio into your mobile and if your device is android 11 plus then you should enable wireless debugging then you not need to connect it via usb it is simply connected via wi-fi let's enable wireless debugging now everything has been done now scan this qr code from your android 11 plus devices scan this code to scan this qr code you need to open your wireless debug setting go to setting then go to developer option scroll down then select wireless debugging option here click on it now click on it pair device with qr code let's click on it after that scan this qr code Now as you can see our devices has been connected successfully. Now you can directly run app from Android Studio into your mobile devices. As you can see uh, our device name is appeared above here running devices. Now let's click on it to uh, uh, run icon to run the app. Let's open our device. Open up the build menu. Here you can see all the details info. Do not worry about warnings or errors. 
we will fix them into during this project do not worry about this as you can see we got uh, some errors uh it is a kotlin related issues so you need you can fix by giving a kotlin dependency into your dependency section of the build.gradle file how you can do that let me show you go to gradle scripts and you need to open build.gradle file of module of app level not the project level the first file of build.gradle is for project level file you need to open app level file right do not confuse between them both the name is same so open the module of app double click on it open scroll down and uh, you need to enter the dependency of the kotlin here to add the kotlin dependency uh, open up your browser and uh, search for it kotlin jdk dependency right after that uh, you can see a maven repository.com uh, from uh, this is the second url in the search org.jetbrains.kotlin click on it after that uh, we need to install a uh, second number kotlin kotlin standard library of jdk8 right click on it after that uh, come down scroll down and uh, select the version 19.10 of agar 23 click on it then uh, scroll down and select the version this repository is for maven which is not used in the our project this is the gradle we can use it but uh, we will use the gradle sort right just copy this do not copy all all the values just copy this line press ctrl c and copy it now open your browser uh, sorry android studio and uh, paste it there it depend c and paste it there now it is successful now you have to sync your project click on sync which is shown above as you can see the build process is running and uh, build successful after building up your project do not forget to clean the project go to build menu then select clean project and after clean then again go to build menu then select rebuild project it will take some time mm, and i want to tell you that uh, after adding retrofit uh, dependency into our project the sync process uh, will take more time that why uh, the sync process is completed in uh, 31 seconds which is very lower but after if we will add a dependency like uh, kotlin uh, for retrofit to java then it will take more time of sync your project like uh, uh, 3 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes or more depending upon your uh, machine or your computer right so do not worry about it it will successfully after a certain time
now the build process is completed now let's run the app click on the run app icon as you can see there is no error and uh, it is showing launching app and uh, app is successfully running right as you can see we are at the home fragment and uh, if we click on dashboard then it is showing dashboard fragment and if we click on notifications then it shows notification fragment right app is working absolutely fine there is no issue if you face any issue then feel free to contact us uh, via our uh, website krishnaapps.com or you can personally contact us on uh, in the comment or uh, comment via this video so in the next video we will learn how to integrate dependency uh, which is required for our projects for now bye bye and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video